Hello and welcome to a Microtask Shorts video. This video will be talking about um, retrieving the project from a Git server, importing into KDS and then building. Initially I begin with an empty folder and I retrieve the data using Tortoise Git by cloning the repository. Here I have the address of the remote repository you will normally have to enter a username and password the first time that it's used. Now I'm retrieving the project. Once the checkout is completed I can close this and move to the root directory. Now because we want to work with KDS I go into the Microtasker v1.4 project directory and then I move into the KDS directory and go to the project settings. I take a copy of the project settings and I move them or I copy them up to the root directory. This now has the KDS Eclipse project in the root directory and we can start KDS itself. I define a workspace for the project by clicking on the workbench I can close the welcome window and now we import the project to do this I do a right mouse click in the project explorer I do import I do a general import of an existing project into the workspace I select the project root it tells me it has found a valid project and I say finish. Now I have the Microtasker project imported into the workspace and I can choose which target we build. We have a selection this is the main flash one and this is the serial loader for example. Now if I select the serial loader we'll see a first caveat of KDS which we'll need to correct. In the application directory although we've selected the serial bootloader it's still greyed out. This is a problem with KDS itself either the setting is not saved in the project or it's lost each time an import is made. Now we can correct this as follows. I open up the properties window and I move to the C, C++ general. I open the indexer and in the indexer it will show me here that we have a fixed build setting. Now this is not what we want so we enable the uh, project specific setting and now we tell it to use the active build configuration. We do apply and now we'll see that we have the correct uh, files uh, non-grade. The next thing I want to do is to specify the target which I want to build the serial loader for. So I open up its config.h file and I select the target that I'd like to build. For example, let's build the KL27 target. Now what I need to do is to make sure that the uh, target which was originally set is also deactivated. Now once I've set up the target I also need to, to ensure that the compiler is set up correctly so I go back to the properties window and this time I go into C, C++ build and I select the settings. Now in the settings I can choose the ARM family now we've just selected a KL27 which has an M0 plus core so I have to select the M0 plus core. The uh, second thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that we're using the correct linker script file so I go to um, the linker script setting so I set the linker script file to the KL with 64 kilobytes of flash and 16 kilobytes of RAM which corresponds to the KL27 that I want to build for. Now I can build.
we note that the output of the build is, is in this folder there and this is the file, the L file that can be used for downloading and debugging. Moving back to the project directory uh, it's also worth noting that the output of the build has also been put into this file here. There we have binary, hex and S record versions. Now before completing it's worth mentioning two other possible KDS difficulties. The first one is that it's found that the project is rebuilt although there's been no changes to any source files. The way to correct this to, is to go into the properties, select the C, C plus build and the refresh policy. Sometimes the setting gets lost so what we can do is we can add back the Microtask UV 1.4 to here, selecting it like that, say OK. I uh, apply the change and after this the uh, make file behavior is correct again. Now the very final thing which really needs to be done occasionally is to check to see whether there are any updates. There I can do a check for updates. It's worth checking for updates because it has been found that with the uh, KDS version 3.2 the original driver for the debugger would not allow the Microtask project to be debugged correctly when its low power operation was active. Updating the driver solved this issue. Many thanks for looking in and good luck with your own Microtasker based project with KDS.